Well, <clears throat> it's been several weeks since this uh, project started and between some worker disputes, not with me, but between the our lead guy and a couple of his crew, there's, which there's always drama here uh, between workers and foremen. Thankfully, I wasn't involved, didn't have anything to do with me, but things are back on. He was uh, out here yesterday. The gate is up. It's all secured. Um, it's rolling just fine. It's very easy to use. You can see he welded all this stuff back together. They're going to come back today. Oops, this is a little tight. They're going to come back today and grind all the welds and then they're going to paint the whole fence and everything. Uh, then eventually the motor is going to be right here somewhere. And then of course we're going to backfill in this whole muddy area here with either rock and or concrete or whatever combination of both. Uh, but everything else is looking good. Um, the uh, temple uh, still hasn't really cleaned up their side of the uh, the road yet. There were some people who kind of made a, a an attempt, but it didn't really work well. Um, this was our King Kong or Morning Glory, and my idiot dog decided he wanted to take a nap in there, so he just crawled up and took a nap. Uh, did some light grazing. Now, I don't know why he did that, but he did that and kind of smashed all our King Kong down. Now, the rest of everything looks pretty good. We got all sorts of stuff growing out here. Here's all our basils. Our onions are actually starting. Little spring onions are starting to look a little better. All these things are starting to pop up. Our lettuce over there is looking nice. We've got tomatoes and something else coming in here. I can't remember exactly what she put all in here, but... There's all something in here. Those are those Thai eggplants that are down there. Those guys are looking a little rough. Those are those, uh, those are like some sort of pepper plant, but not like, like chili pepper. Some other kind of like the, like the little round pepper shell looking things. And so looks like she put some more in here. I'm not quite sure what those are. More, looks like more basil. But these are all the chilies. The chilies are looking really nice. We got some really nice looking chilies. These are, these have grown up like huge. Looks like she missed something. There's, we got some chilies on here. I mean, she kind of threw some papayas in the mix. We have one there, one there. And it looks like something else. I can't remember. She might have put some basil down here. Cause that's a purple basil, looks like. And then more chilies. And then, yeah, everything else. They cut the grass. Pineapples are all doing good. We have a little bit of a mishap about midway through. My idiot dog was running up and down and he just likes to, because he's a puppy, he likes to run. He doesn't really mess with the pineapples. He just runs and then crashes kind of into them and then just smashes them. So they're not really dead. They're just kind of working on righting themselves. But <clears throat> the yard after the last few rains have greened up quite a bit. You can see all the, you can see all the green or the green coming through the, through the sandy areas over here. And we'll take a quick walk down here, but you can see the where this used to be very rocky and uneven and slippery with the mud and everything. Man, the grass has really leveled it all out and broken it down with the roots and everything. And the rain made it nice and soft and the, the grass was able to really kind of level everything out, so. Um, avocados, everybody's still doing okay. Um, we've had a couple little, little deaths and here and there, but the avocados are doing okay. Uh, all the chocolate trees here are doing okay. So all 10 chocolate trees are still alive. We put some more papayas here. Um, but yeah, I mean like even here, just a few weeks ago where I'm walking, um, this would have all been just like clay, slippery stuff. And now I'm out here in my flip-flops. I can walk out here just fine, which is really how it's, you know, should be nice grass and everything. So they cut the grass yesterday, kind of raked it up around the, around the plants, which is fine. Um, I saw her out discussing how we're going to do a mulberry tower or mulberry tower, mulberry tunnel. And so here are all our mulberries, right? So we've got 10 of these mulberries that come down. And so she's already started to wrap them and they'll like, you'll have the fingers that bend over top and then you'll have some branches and fingers that come out. So 
they'll touch this way and they'll they'll go over to the fence so this whole thing will be a mulberry tunnel that you can just pick from hopefully in theory i've never done it before so we'll see how it works it could be disastrous which it probably will be but it'll be fun doing it and that's it everything over here is looking really great i'm not sure why he's at such a weird bent angle but whatever like so somebody had his bath today and he's probably not happy about it but most of the papayas papayas i say it like that because it's just the Thai way but whatever all the papayas here this one is looking like it's sucking this is one of the new ones a couple of these were replaced you can see the difference between some of those and then some of these these are the ones that died off they're just not doing very well in this little area i think maybe it's just a hair close to the sprinkler or something it's just a little too wet here i don't i don't know but all the other ones seem to be doing great whatever historically whatever we put in this area is just doesn't survive very long i don't know what what's going on but that's that Miss Ma'am is probably on her way to go get eggs. Actually, we can go over there too. I'm gonna follow you over. Man, I can't wait for this mud to get cleaned up. We gonna go get some eggs? course our neighbor here has um, done some more work it looks like he's made some sort of little outdoor bathroom or something and he's attempting to put up this wall which the property line is on the post there so I'm not quite sure what his plan is for right here but we'll figure that out later he's a pretty reasonable guy so we won't bust his balls too much over here, the dragon fruit, looking nice. Take a quick walk through here. The chickens think they're getting breakfast, so they're all gonna follow her. But the dragon fruit looking crazy high. The bees, oh gosh, it looks like the, it looks like the tire collapsed a little bit more. It did for sure. Well, the weight, the weight of the, uh, the weight of the uh, dragon fruit. Come here, buddy. The weight of the dragon fruit has pushed the tire down and kind of smashed their, smashed their uh, hive there at the top. I don't know how to fix that, and I can't fix that without really upsetting them. So I'm not going to do that. They'll just have to live with it. I didn't realize that this dragon fruit got that heavy on that side, but it's all right. <clears throat> Um, but these plants, remember, these all started off as little tiny shrubs, so these have grown a lot. Let's see, we have any oranges yet? Thought we had some over here. Uh, maybe we had a couple little ones here. A couple little ones, a couple little ones. These guys are looking all right. These guys are looking all right. It's all looking all right. Yeah, I, I can't remember which dragon fruit this is, but this one's just really slow and kind of fat. I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna make it. But anyway, dragon fruit's growing like crazy, man. I mean, it's already gonna be time to. I'm gonna have to trim those up too because those are way out of control. But walking into the banana part, we've got bananas everywhere. We got bananas all the way down there. See, we've cleared all this stuff out. It looks much nicer now. Mangoes, pomegranates. Pomegranates the size of your stinking head. Look at this guy. Holy monkey, he's gotta be ready. Look at that thing. Golly. Huge pomegranates on this little tree. Oh, I think we have some mites too on this one. I think we do. 
Yeah, we have mites. We have mites on our pomegranates. See this leaf curling? Oh yeah, we got mites everywhere. Ah, crap. All right, well, we'll deal with that later. Um, but these guys are good. Wow, look at these. These are all the pomelos. Yeah. Okay. We've got, can't remember what those are. But we've got, all right, no hanky-panky here by the mangoes. Have some decency, ladies. Where are you? We've got mangoes everywhere. I'm trying to find a way through. We've got more mangoes here. Mangoes almost on every tree. If you remember, she she asked if she wanted to do an, an aggressive trim on this because it had just grown really wrong. It had actually like grown under because we weren't, I just didn't get it to be able to be supported in time. So this one got an aggressive trim uh, and this one, all the lower branches here that were really uh, uh, under undergrown, um, she cut all those off. So it actually, it actually opened the space up a little bit and now I want these things to grow taller, which they will for sure. And these bananas and sugar cane are fine. Coconuts are doing fine. Uh, fish are doing okay fish are eating breakfast he still looks oh there's some big ones in there man there are some big ones in there real big ones uh, the finger limes down there and everything are doing okay how many did we get? How many did you get? Wow, that's a pretty good haul there. Jeez. Yeah, we gotta go check. And then the let's go check over these bananas real quick. These are all the specialty bananas. I say specialty, I just mean the non-standard brand of bananas that they have here we have all different kinds but they're growing very very well this guy is still super short i can't get that guy to grow but all the other ones down there look fantastic this is exactly what i want it to look like like have like a nice little trail behind here and eventually this will all get green too and we'll be able to walk back here it'll be nice um let's go see the the Kratom is definitely coming back. I thought these guys were dead, but for sure they're just dormant. I guess it gets in that cool season. It just, uh, um, they just kind of go dormant. They look, they look awful, but these bananas are okay. Our bat shit farm here is okay. And I know it's our, um, all this bat shit here because we have a bat colony colony that somehow lives in between i know it's wild because it's an open roof there's no ceiling there's no anything so we have a whole bat colony that lives in between the flashing there and then the the part or not particle board the uh, gypsum board that's up there that concrete board so just behind this metal flashing there's a whole bunch of bats and all they do is shit down here all day. So yeah, but they fly in and out. They fly in and out of that little, see where it's, see where it's separated there. And that's where they all go in. They all go out every night. It's crazy. But the Kratom is all coming back. Nice and green. These look nice now, babe, look. These are all coming back. They just need to be hot. I think they don't like the cool weather. They definitely like hot weather. Oh, <laughs> she said, where is he? Oh. oh, there he is. She said, this is the dog that just hangs out next to her mom's house all the time, wants to be adopted. 
Funny. Anyway, so what do we got? You go steal mom's vegetables. Yeah, her mom right across the right across the way has an incredible vegetable garden. Has everything over there. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, they're coming back. Let's do uh, let's do a quick pineapple check because her mom said that a couple of them are, are almost ready. I'm not sure if I believe that, but I've been in and out for a while. So yeah, it's possible we could have some pineapples ready. Look at that. Pineapples. The double header here. The double header here is looking great. No, I don't think they're quite ready yet. They're not quite ready yet. Let's go down here. They are looking they are looking fantastic though. That's what they are looking. Look at these guys. Yeah, all the way down. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, we still have twenty left. So that's good. We got twenty pineapples in the first year from the fifty plants. Again, the, from there's a very clear line from that pineapple down where there's just those pineapples just sucked. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, obviously. It's just a bad area. You can see that where the sun is coming up and those those big mango trees there and everything. There's just not enough sun back here for those. So that's probably not a good spot for them. So we, I'm either going to move them or to rip them out. I'll probably go put them over by my house. I don't really want to kill them. Um, and then just let that fill in with grass because here seems to be, this area seems to be the Goldilocks area. This is the perfect, perfect area. But just a couple meters that way is a horrible area. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, the little shed is looking fine. Uh, neighbor's house and garden is looking immaculate as always. Again, I'm not gonna show too much of it because it's not nice, but you can see that there's, they keep an incredible little garden over there. All those banana trees and all those vegetables and flowers they have, there's not a drop of garbage anywhere. Look how nice they keep it. This is still my driveway. We shared this driveway for this fence, but all the rest of that is theirs. And there's not a, not a ounce of garbage over there at all. That's how nice they keep it. Yeah. And we put this plant in here a little while ago. These are finally growing. We got these little, uh, I can't remember. These are like those little lucky money, you know, plants. I can't remember someone gave us those. And, um, I think that's really about it. We got to control these vines growing up everywhere, but everything's looking, looking good. I don't, I don't see much else going on. It rained a little bit, so maybe we can start the burn pile again. We got to get rid of some of that stuff. It's building up, but yeah, all the, uh, all the fruits are looking nice. All oh, the pomegranates are incredible, man. I, I didn't realize how well they grow here, man. Jeez, they grow like crazy. And then look at the jackfruit. The jackfruit are growing. That's pretty wild. Chickens are happy, kicking around everything. Taking care of taking care of everything we got lots of them on here this is crazy look at this were these pomelos babe or some o's or what i don't remember what these are but we got a lot of them this tree i mean i, I thought this tree was dying man but he's got tons of fruit on it all over the place this one too this one's doing all right you can see she she gave this one an aggressive trim as well she actually probably needs to do it to a couple of them that one too but yeah that's it all the chickens are out and about having a morning look at these dragon fruits man they're crazy look at that 
they grow incredible. I mean, you just don't pay attention to them for a couple of weeks, man. And they are out of control. Look at all that new growth we have in there. I'm sure now we can get a little bit better with them because all those little baby birds are gone. So these things are nuts. Look at what? Look at what? Oh, we got, we got eggs, manals, and a mango today. Eggs, limes, and mango. Mm -hmm. Huh? Which one? Oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah.